Introduction A Jewish person would be wise to listen to the words of the prophet Jeremiah. See, a time is coming, declares God, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their ancestors when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, a covenant that they broke. Though I espoused them, declares God. Jeremiah chapter 31, verses 31 to 32, the Revised Jewish Publication Society. The law of Moses is considered by many Jewish people to be God's covenant with them. But they fail to understand that God promised a new covenant to the Jewish people. This new covenant was promised through Abraham and through all the other prophets. In my book, we will explore what this new covenant means. We will study prophecies in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms. These prophecies talk about the Messiah. We will answer the question, is Yeshua the Messiah prophesied in the Hebrew Scriptures? Jesus said, When I was with you, I told you that everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and in the Psalms must be fulfilled. Luke chapter 24, verse 44, New Testament, New Living Translation. Bibles. The New Living Translation will be used for my New Testament quotes. If other Bibles are used, they will be referenced. My New Testament quotes will include the acronym NT so that the reader will always know when the New Testament is being quoted. One quirk about the NLT is that there are three versions in existence and they are not differentiated by the publishers. You may therefore look up a scripture referenced in my book and not find the exact NLT version I have used. I was unaware that there were various versions of the NLT. Regarding the Torah, the word Torah usually refers to the first five books of Moses, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. But Torah can also refer to the entire Tanakh. The entire Tanakh, or Torah, contains the law, prophets, and Psalms. I use the words Tanakh, Hebrew Scriptures, Torah, and Jewish Bible interchangeably. I used four English translations for my Jewish Bible quotes and italics within a scripture quote for emphasis. The translations were all published by the Jewish Publication Society, JPS. Each quote from the Tanakh will have one of the following notations. RJPS, the revised JPS 2023, TCT, Contemporary Torah, 2006, 1985, the 1985 Tanakh, 1917, the 1917 Tanakh. The RJPS, TCT, and 1985 can be found here, www.safaria.org forward slash texts forward slash Tanakh. The 1917 Tanakh and any New Testament can be found here, www.biblehub.com. Please note that the Christian Old Testament and the Jewish Bible are almost identical. They were both translated into English from the Hebrew Masoretic text. I will be using the phrases New Testament and New Covenant interchangeably. Format of my book. The prophecies discussed in my book are arranged chronologically, according to milestones in Yeshua's life. These events include, but are not limited to, his birth, childhood, ministry, death on the cross, resurrection from the dead, and ascension into heaven. I used about 200 prophecies from the Jewish Bible that refer to the Messiah and the same number of New Testament quotes to show the fulfillment those prophecies have.
There are many more prophecies in the Tanakh that refer to the Messiah, which you may find on your own. In my book, you will find sections called either Key Question or Key Questions. These emerged during conversations I had with Jewish men and women about the Messiah. Hebrew words. Two Hebrew words used throughout Jesus in the Jewish Bible are Yeshua and Hashem. Instead of always using the name of Jesus for the Savior, I will sometimes use his Hebrew name, Yeshua. The name Yeshua means deliverer, Savior, or the Lord is salvation. In the following quote from the New Testament, I have added Jesus' Hebrew name in italics as an example. And she will have a son, and you are to name him Jesus, in brackets, Yeshua, for he will save his people from their sins. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21, New Testament. Sometimes I use the Hebrew word Hashem for God. Hashem means the name. In Jewish tradition, using this title shows the highest respect toward God. Tenses. One difficulty in writing about prophecies is determining which grammatical tense to use. Prophecies about the Messiah, recorded in the Tanakh, were written in the following tenses, past, present, or future. Some prophets wrote about the Messiah as the one who was to come, future tense. Some wrote about what they had seen in a vision, past tense. Other prophecies were written as if the prophet was seeing the events happen right before their eyes, present tense. I write about the prophecies as much as possible in the future tense. I write about the fulfillment of those prophecies in the past tense because Yeshua has already fulfilled them. Challenge. Jesus had some very challenging words for those who reject him. Yet, it isn't I who will accuse you before the Father. Moses will accuse you. Yes, Moses, in whom you put your hopes. If you really believed Moses, you would believe me because he wrote about me. But since you don't believe what he wrote, how will you believe what I say? John chapter 5 verses 45 to 47, New Testament. It is my hope and prayer that Jesus in the Jewish Bible will benefit the Jewish people. They are the primary inheritors of God's promises, as taught by the prophets. A considerable number of Jewish people have not been presented with the information about the Messiah, I invite you to approach this matter with an open mind. Andy Fairchild, written April 6th, 2024.